Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, N31LE. If you're tired of losing races like this, and you want your bike to be like this, then here are five things that you need to turn your bike into the ultimate roll race or drag racing weapon. Get out the way, you got a watch, you got the time, I'm raising the clock, even if my feelings grind don't stop, got big dreams, one big old rocks, I got plans, I got talk, that is real cheap, but it's really going close, I'm trying to get these ends, Number one on the list, if you have a 2023 BMW S1000 RR like this one, actually no, scratch that, if you got a 19 through 23 BMW S1000 RR, the new body style, you need to go with Brent Tuning. And I'm not only saying that because I'm affiliated with Brent Tuning, I run Brent Tuning, I trust in Brent Tuning. You can go with Karita. It doesn't matter to me, it's not my bike. But at the end of the day, this bike is Brent Tuned. I've got Stage 1, Stage 2, and E85 tuning. And I'm probably gonna get MR12 tuning at some point as well. But the Stage 1 tuning, it comes with, if you order it, the Velocity Stacks, Sprint Air Filter, and the IAT relocate. Those are three separate options. You do not have to order all three options. I recommend it. Now, like I said, I'm affiliated. We're in the process of getting affiliated with Brent Tuning. So hopefully by the time this video drops, I should have a code for you guys. It should be N31LE. I'll uh, tag that somewhere here in the bottom of the video, somewhere here. But uh, <laughs> um, like I said, I'm not I'm recommending you guys that because I'm affiliated with Brent Tuning, you can go with Karita. Doesn't matter to me. This bike is Brent tuned. It's gonna stay Brent tuned. It's been kicking butt on Brent tuned. So um, that's it. Full exhaust. Like I said, I've got the stage two, which is a little bit above the uh, stage one. It gets you a little bit faster shifting and a little bit more uh, research into what the bike can actually do. So it unlocks a little bit more above the stage uh, two. The E85 tuning. Whole different beast. I'm talking. I mean. You've seen the videos. I, I, I'm talking like second gear power wheelies, just like it's nothing. So, I, I mean, my videos speak for themselves with the E85 tuning. Uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, if you watch my videos, I shouldn't have to go too in depth with that. Um, but yeah, like I said, first thing you need to do is get the flash, get that OEM BMW tuning off of the bike. It's horrible. I mean, between the dead spot, between like, what is it, eight to uh, four to eight thousand or something like that and then the high rpm drop off i, I mean i you can't race with that man i, I mean here <laughs> i posted a, a race a long time ago and i'm pretty sure the, i mean the video right here will show you this is before and this is after the brent tune So, I mean, like, I, I the, the tune speaks for itself. I mean, like I said, you can go with the stock tuning, but like I said, you need to be, this bike needs to be flashed. And like I said, I don't care whether it's Bren tuning or if it's Karita, do something, get that OEM tuning off of there. Hey, you. Yeah, you. If you could, like this video for the algorithm. Number two on the list, full exhaust. I only say this because the full exhaust that comes on this bike, the OEM, whether it's the Akropovich or the uh, full like steel exhaust, whatever they give you, the, with the turtle shell, garbage. It weighs like 30 pounds, take it off your bike. And on top of that, it's super restrictive. The bike doesn't like it, I didn't like it, especially taking it off, terrible. I got a link for that up here somewhere, taking the full exhaust off. but. That, that stock exhaust weighs about a good 30 pounds. I've got on here the Aero Titanium Low full exhaust. I mean, this thing, I could have literally picked it up with one finger from the headers all the way to the, to the, to the tailpipe. Like I could hold it up with one finger. It weighs about probably like two pounds. So obviously the titanium is gonna cost more than the uh, stainless steel. Now, your wallet is gonna depend on which one you buy. So the best bang for your buck is going to be the titanium because you get the weight loss and you get the performance. Now you can go a little bit cheaper and get the stainless steel, but you won't get the, the whole full weight loss effect. So 
depending on how much money you choose to spend is going to be how much money or how much weight your bike is going to lose at the end of the day. Now with drag racing, we all know that weight loss is everything. So I recommend if you're going to max effort this bike, full titanium exhaust, whether it's Aero, Akropovich, Spark, doesn't matter. Like I said, my bike has the Aero Titanium Low. I can speak for the Aero Titanium Low. Super light. If you can afford this, get it. But that's all I got to say. Third thing on the list, ceramic bearings. These bikes benefit like crazy with ceramic bearings. Now, they're not cheap. They're about 400 to 450 ish dollars. Um, but oh my God, do they make a difference. And I'll, I'll say that specifically for this fact. So watch this before and after video of me putting on the ceramic bearings in these wheels. All right, so. All right, so we're already past the nine second mark. And I think I spun it a little bit softer. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I mean, the difference is crazy, right? So look, if that video doesn't speak for itself, I don't know what else to say. Now I'll say it once and I'll say it a thousand times more. PitLaneMoto.com for all your motorcycle needs. Not only BMW, Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha, KTM, Ducati, any bike that you name of, Zeb can get it for you. So make sure you contact them at 919-337-8667. They do have a 100% price match guarantee. They have first responder and military discounts available. So if you see something that you want online that's not on the website, contact Zeb via call or text. If you see it's cheaper somewhere else, still contact Zeb. He'll be able to give you a 100% price match guarantee. And again, first responder and military discounts are available. So if you're either one of those, you can get some more money off. Also, if you tell him your boy N31LE sent you, he might also get you some money off as well. You never know. So contact Zeb, 919-337-8667. Tell him your boy N31LE sent you, and you should get some pretty good discounts on any part that you need. Fourth item on the list. So we're talking about straight up race drag bikes. We can't have a race drag bike without an extended swing arm, right? So there's two ways to do this. You can get a full on extended swing arm that replaces the OEM swing arm, like an evil swing arm. I don't, I don't know the rest of them. I'm, I'm be honest with you. I do not know the rest of them other than the evil swing arm. And then of course the swing arm blocks. So your best bet for weight loss savings is going to be the evil swing arm or some kind of aluminum full on swing arm that replaces the OEM swing arm itself. The cheapest way is to do the blocks. But again, if we're going for a max effort bike, do the full swing arm, aluminum frame, call it a day. Fifth item on the list is weight loss and lowering. Now this is gonna encompass a lot of things, mainly carbon fiber fairings. I already talked a little bit about the exhaust, the wheels, all right? So depending on which package you get, whether you get the M package or the base package, you're gonna have to do something with your wheels unless you've got the carbon fiber wheels. So here I've got forged wheels. So these aren't really optimal in terms of roll racing and drag racing, things like that. If I want to get the ultimate weight loss, I'm going to go with carbon. And on top of that, the ceramic bearings inside of carbon wheels. Oh my God, that's, that, that's insane right there. Another form of weight loss is the brakes. You might get lighter brakes and you might also run one brake disc. You might also take off the rear brake disc. You know what I'm saying? All, all these things are gonna equal weight loss and less rotational drag weighing the bike down. So you run one brake disc on the front, no brake disc on the back, that's less rotational force right there. On top of that, a 520 chain, um, different gearing. You know what I'm saying? If you get aluminum sprockets and a, and a 520 chain over the 525, you've got less rotational force, meaning that your bike is gonna go faster. You lower the bike. 
the bike is gonna have less air kicking up under it. You know what I'm saying? Less weight, carbon fiber fairings. You got less weight to move forward, meaning your bike is gonna move forward a lot faster than it would with OEM fairings. You could also, once you get your carbon fiber fairings, you could take the wings off. That's gonna be less downforce on the front, weighing you back. It's different things like this that, that'll help you gain more speed, lose weight, have more aerodynamics for, for roll racing. Now, I'm not gonna give you guys all the sauce. That's just for y'all to figure out. So I just gave you a few things right there for weight loss and dropping it. So carbon fiber fairings, run one brake pad, um, 520 chain, different gearing, aluminum sprockets. Uh, I mean, you can also go with a carbon fiber tank. That's a little bit more expensive, you know what I'm saying? You can go with an aluminum frame. I mean, it's already a tube frame, but you could go with an aluminum one. Another thing you could do is titanium bolts. I mean, it might seem pretty insignificant, but you get all titanium bolts to replace these OEM bolts. I mean, every little gram counts, you know what I'm saying? So do what you guys want with your bike, do what you guys' pockets can afford. I'm gonna stick with what I like. I don't like stretch bikes. So for right now, I'm gonna be a stock wheelbase monster. As you can see from every video that I'm putting out, we going racing almost every week. At some point, I'm gonna hit the track, probably when all these roll races die down. But for right now, we're gonna be a stock wheelbase monster. And of course, everything that I just listed is gonna depend on how deep your pockets are. So whatever you can afford out of the list is on you. Like I said, I'm not gonna give you guys all the sauce, so that's not everything, but that's just enough. Those are the top five things that are gonna turn your bike from zero to street racing king. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's video, hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel. That way, whenever I drop any new content, you'll be the first to know. If you have any comments, drop them down below. Remember, I'm here for you guys. So anything you want to see, let me know and I'll make the video for you. Thanks for tuning in.